people you ever want to meet. But nobody knew it because she lived in Great Indiana. A town that was probably notable for being the most boring place in the world. Jim, put a little bit Ah, hey! We got everything right here in Great Indiana.
this stranger among us, this man from the sky, knelt down beside her and took that girl's face in his hands, and an amazing thing happened. He blew his own breath into her body, and the moment she opened her eyes, the wind ceased to howl, and the rain stopped to fall in like that. She's breathing. <laughs>
told me that he told them, he told her to disrobe herself. Oh, right there in front of him, too. What sort of a scoundrel? Well, when I went to see him, I took all my clothes off. He stripped right down to his birthday suit, too. And then we danced around the fire and sacrificed small animals and house pets till the sun came up. <laughs>
voice was so familiar and lonesome it scared me. I could feel his touch in my sleep. So when I woke up alone, I went to the graveyard to see him. You'll make call him. Kaye, they cool, they he's What do you say? I'm saying punish, man. It's a kind of prayer for the dead. See this old stone here? The name is worn away, but I noticed the star of David. I figured whoever this is, he must be one of my people. This prayer for the dead is all about life. It speaks of the glory of God, but it's said for the living. Do you understand? You're talking about what I asked you before. Dr. Gray, I loved my husband, but I can't have this child without him. Sometimes, decisions that we make in a moment of grief are decisions we come to regret. Grief does terrible things to a person's mind. Believe me, I mean, no. You won't help me, I'll do it myself. Do you want to kill yourself right along with it? Someday, somebody's going to come along and she's going to love this child because it's part of you. Life is here. Life is here. Well, if it weren't for Ben Franklin, 
You're already crouched out. It's the first step. Just come in front of me here. Okay. Got a pillow for you. Thank you. You're a pillow. Do you trust me? Because if you don't, it's going to be difficult. I'm trying. Okay. All right, You ready? Be careful. Yeah, I got you. No, no, no. Okay, watch it. I got you like. should honor an ancestor. I would name a son for his father. Name his. But then it I ain't mine neither. It's your job to bring. That's not what I meant. I ain't mine like that. After I birth him, I'll give him to you. Dr. Gray? Doctor? He's over here too. Now let's quit this funny around. Galen, this baby belongs to you. Dr. Gray! Doctor, you need to run to the Collins house right away. A bell has been coughing just awful. She's running the fever. She can't hardly breathe. Somebody found a mark on him. Every night, somebody else took a feet. It contended 
Prey. Anatomy of Prey. Chapter 2. This, this terrible onslaught of sickness was a frightening attack. But secretly, for a girl who was fated to live in the most boring town in the world, secretly was also the best of times. Because she got to spend so much time with Dr. Dalen P. Gray, she went where he went, as she did what he did. The dude had become his assistant. <coughs> Just take it one breath at a time, dog. You're gonna be fine. Drink. Adventure drink. Why are you so scared of blood? I don't know. Why do you wash your hands after every single patient? Because it stops the spread of germs. Well, if washing kills germs, why don't you make the people who are marked take a bath and the marks on them? The external marks are a symptom of an illness that's already inside them. That's why. Well, why don't you make them drink soap and hot water? That wouldn't work. Because the illness has already taken root in the bloodstream and is spread throughout their systems. Is that why you're so scared of blood? Why do you ask so many questions? said there's no such thing as a dumb question. Well, I love your questions. I love them so much, I want you to parcel them out. From now on, I want you to limit yourself to one question a day. Monday? Do you believe in God? Yes. Tuesday? Do you believe God is good? Yes. Wednesday? Why? Why what? Why do you believe God is good? Well, don't you? I don't know. But if that's true, why do people get sick and die? Thursday. How come you've never been married? Friday. Have you ever had a girlfriend? <laughs> yes. Is there anything else you want to say about that? Uh, no. I wanted to ask him what happened. If she died tragically, if that's why he wouldn't settle down until he met the right person. And we both have a pretty good idea who that might be. Oh, um, mother. And I couldn't bear to ask him that. Besides which, I already used up my question for Friday. Saturday. If you believe God is good, do you ever think I'll see my father again? Yes. Do you ever think I'll stop missing him? No. So June being June saves her last, deepest, and most personal question for Sunday. And once again, she wrote her thoughts down. Do you think I'm pretty? Check this box for yes, or this box for no.
any marks on me, Maggie. Did he touch you? Well... Did he? Or didn't he? No. You see that? He said he had to tell. And if I felt any better right now, I'd be twitched. You're so smitten with him, he's gone blind. And you too. Would I let my daughter near him if I thought it was because of this? Ladies! Sisters! Please. Now, sickness is a hard thing to fathom, I grant, but I figure the good Lord put this mark on us to test us. So God tested Jonah and Jonah. Then why don't he march red? He's a Jew. The Jew is about the most small thing I have ever heard. There's a mark on you, Rebecca. It's right there. I don't know how he does it, but somehow he does it. I've always been suspicious of him. Yeah. Hester! What's wrong? Miss Belva. She's gone from us. Belva, dead? But you, you gotta have a strong talk with that doctor. And he won't let me bury her. He's won the karma on her. Karma and dead woman? We'll put a stop to this crutch. Walk with you, Pastor. I knew what I told you. Stop the horror. The news spread like a fire that night. A fire that was fueled by rumors, by fear. First, Jeannie Muldoon lost her father. Now her mother was marked. Her boring little town wasn't boring anymore. It was done. Men raced with lanterns and guns to the countryside, looking for the cause of the illness. The man from the sky, the Jew, the spreader of germs, Dr. Galen P. Gray. Are you running away? June? Please tell me that's you. No, I, I didn't kill Belva. That's what they're saying. Uh, take me along with you. No. I'm sorry I didn't stand up for you. And I'm sorry it's fishing for compliments, and I'm sorry I asked so many dumb questions. Now will you please take me with you? No. Is it because I'm not Jewish? I can turn Jewish. You're not going with me. You're only 15. And your mom's having a baby. She needs you. She needs you too. Junie, my future is feathers and talk. Now I have to go. Answer one more question. Is everybody who's marked gonna die? We fear that they will. You're not marked, are you? No. But my mother is. <laughs> oh, no. Does that mean her baby's marked too? Oh, right there, Dr. Gray! Shoot! Let's go to the emergency tank Go fetch Mr. Collins! And tell him to bring a rope! Oh, hey, don't put my soul on your conscience, Pastor! Pastor, you're not gonna hang him! Did you know he tried to carve? Oh, poor Miss Collins! And the little tiny pieces, right after she died! I just wanted to do an autopsy! And it's the devil's work! Pastor, you won't run! You keep away from me! Go! Somebody help me! Get on the horse and get out of here! Who's over here? He's over here! He's over here. Give me some water. Give me the Okay. Oh. Oh. 
Uh, uh, Jude, do you think you can follow instructions? I can too. Well, what do you want me to do? Uh, do you see that darkish thing in there? This thing right here? Yeah, I need you to cut it out. Oh, it's the size of a walnut. Uh, I'll finish the bait for you. Okay. Oh. 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 oh, I got you, little devil! <laughs> Okay, hey, okay. Uh, dip a little water in there to rinse out these little things. And uh, that'll close them up. Okay. Well, hey. I hate the taste of water. Hey? You can't live on nothing but soda pop over. Well, hey. I do. Whiskey in there can kill the trips. You're not half bad with that needle there, Doc. <laughs> you did a fine job, Dr. Gray. No, Homer. She did a fine job.
She's got her paws hat. It's just like you staring right back at me, Mama. And so, in the fullness of time, June and her family walked down to the water's edge. Those of us left on the good ground of Sheridan County gathered together that evening to bury our dead. Ha, ha, ha. 